What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And this is a response video to my brother at the Grown Man Business YouTube channel. And the name of the video that he did called is called Make Them Regret Losing You, right? And I wanna subscribe. Once you guys subscribe to the brother, go to the first comment pinned to the top. It's a very, very good video. And in this video, he was talking about how a lot of times when you stress over women, especially as black men, you go through so much emotional and psychological damage and you're tripping over her. You're crying and you're, you know, doubting yourself, right? And once that happens, you know, she feels that she has the upper advantage over you, all right? And if you allow yourself to fall off, and then she comes and checks on you down the line. What ends up happening is you justify her reason for getting rid of you. But brother grown man business says, you wanna upgrade yourself, keep going for it. And then when she looks back many years later, you want her to regret making that damn decision. Can I get an applause on that one? I gotta give the brother applause. <laughs> amen, amen. Thank you for the applause. Now. It's crazy how his video came out this same day. And I was on media takeout news. I was looking for some gossip to report on. And lo and behold, Amber Rose, unable to lose baby weight because she blew up to over 200 pounds. Damn, Amber. And you probably like, well, why is that important? It's very important, right? Because Amber Rose just gave birth to her second child, slash, stop the show. Who, who names a child Slash? I mean, I mean, what are you gonna be naming your kids now? Cut, Scar, Measle, Scab. I mean, you name your char child Slash. I mean, entertainers are just naming their, their kids dumber things every damn day, right? But you, you see you see what she's looking like in this photo right here, right? Look at her. Got these house slippers on. Got this Negro that she must be her baby daddy. He got this green ass hair. Whoop, 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 whoop. This dude got neon green hair, the same color as the bag. Please point an arrow towards the bag and towards his hair. And you will see they are the same. Put the arrow towards the booty belly, okay? Look at the booty belly. Look at the tattoos. Point the, now on the second photo, point the arrow at her booty belly, at his booty belly rather. This nigga look like he just got out of jail for stealing honey buns. Look at him. And look at her. Misery deserves each other. She out there with them dirty ass slippers on. They out there with that red cup. You know what's in them red cup? Hennessy, that dirty ass door in the back, okay? She is struggling. She is struggling it up. But now if you look at her on, 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 uh, on Instagram, look at her. Jesus Christ. She's the tattoo on her forehead. She looking good, right? No, 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 no. See, Amber Rose hit the wall. She don't want nobody to know it. But remember when she was dating, drum roll, please. Kanye West. Remember that when she had a chance to get with Kanye? You know, and why is Kanye West important for this conversation, my brothers? Because Kanye West is now a billionaire. Forbes says 1.3 billion. He says 3.3 billion, but we know he is a billionaire. He's balling, right? Balling. And not only is he balling, the woman that he's with is a business-minded chick by the name of Drum Roll, please. Kim Kardashian. Now, she is a rich Tatiana, but she is getting that money. Would you agree that she has more money than Amber Rose with the forehead tattoo? Oh, yes. See, everybody in Kanye's circle is doing good. I think Kylie Jenner worth a billion dollars. Um, Kim worth a half a billion. He's worth 1.3 billion. But how much is Amber Rose worth? Huh? How much is she worth? Approximately. 12 million dollars. I mean, that's more worth more than what I got because you know I'm broke, right? But let's kind of go back. Story time music. Remember when Kanye West and Amber Rose broke up, right? And she was talking down on Kanye West, you know? She was saying that he was gay, he was soft, she was real miserable, 
she never loved him you know all this stuff kanye ruined her he bullied him all of this trying to pretty much tarnish his name but look at how amber rose has fell off and this is what i'm saying brothers when you get with these chicks and they fall off you keep on pushing don't worry about the hate they're always going to be hating on you all right she tried to leave kanye she got with wiz khalifa then she messed it up with wiz khalifa see she's always getting worse okay now she's with this dude named alexander edwards who in what is a alexander edwards what does he do okay because see she's hit the wall she's in her 40s she can't do what she used to do what what does he do what does alexander edwards do he has a net worth of two million dollars another buffoon with tattoos blonde hair and just struggling it up so you went from give me give me the jeopardy music you went from Kanye West to Wiz Khalifa to this random Negro Alexander Edwards who I never heard of until today do you know what that is struggle licious struggle 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 struggling that's her struggle 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 all of it is struggle 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 and do you know what she keeps falling and falling and falling next thing you know she'd be with a nigga that's a mailman with a flashlight with no batteries in it and a cup of kool-aid she gonna be married to me next she keeps doing worse and worse why because she keeps hitting the wall the wall the wall and she can't get back up there but meanwhile kanye west is worth drum roll please 1.3 billion dollars ever since he got rid of her his career has been on the up and up but ever since she got through with him her career has been on the down and down and do you know who wish she had a chance with kanye right now drum roll please amber rose she wish she had a chance right now because you know why she regrets that she lost him she regrets oh my god kanye i talked all of that stuff about you i really really did but oh my god i'm so tired of dating this broke struggle guy out here with these flip-flops and these sandals on i'm just looking a mess i'm so fat now I really wish that you would come and get me back in shape so I could lose this baby fat off of me and I'm just out here thotting it up so broke. Oh my god, I'll never be what Kim Kardashian is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And that's the damn truth. Sorry for you, Amber, but you still thought you were gonna be somebody. Now you're nobody. Now you look miserable. Pull up the picture again with her sitting up there with them sandals on. Look at her, looking all messed up, tattooed up, looking like Dennis Rodman. Put her next to Dennis Rodman. Can't tell the difference. And make sure you find Dennis Rodman with the blonde hair. Dennis, 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 I can't tell the difference. Now you look like an idiot while, while Kanye West is looking like a genius the thing is brothers make sure that you never get mad at them trust me just like grown man business said make them regret losing you keep moving in your life keep doing well and they will always want to come back but guess what they can't no you can't That's it. That's all. I'm tired of talking to you Negroes today. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell. You know what I'm saying? It's your brother out here. I'm rocking. Rocking and rolling. You know what I'm saying? Doing all that I can do to, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get it popping. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the bell. Go to the first comment pinned to of the top. And I want to give a shout out, man, to one of my brothers out there. And that is ICS Gabe, right? Shout out to my brother. He's doing some great things. 
Now he has 183 subscribers, right? But here's the situation. He's into the tech industry. He helps me out with the Hall of Game podcast. Um, he's an awesome brother. We want to build the technical spaces for black men, right? And I want to help him get his page monetized. And one of the things is, even though these are celebrity junk videos, we want to push our content creators as black men who are doing other things in the industry, right? And my brother is really, really, really doing some great things. Um, if you're interested in doing a career change, getting into tech, making over $100,000 a year, doing securities, you know, right now, these are essential jobs. Go subscribe to ICS Gabe. You see it right there. Go to the first comment pinned to the top. Subscribe, hit the bell, support Black Mill Media, and tell them that O'Shea sent you. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. Make sure that you check out all my information pinned to the top. My t-shirts, Teespring, Black Men Are Perfect, my Patreon, my email. Hit me up. Peace.